Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Yakuza 5. In the last episode, we did a bunch of story stuff. We found the potential killer to... Oh my god, the ghost people. They're back. What? 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 Okay, okay, you know what, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna continue with the intro, otherwise I'm never gonna get past this part. In the last episode, we did a bunch of story stuff, we found the potential killer for Miss Ms. Park, and also, tr who also tried to take down Hori in the meantime, and I was gonna start this episode in a different location, but it looks like Yamora here is going to ambush us, so... No. Looks like my hunch was correct! Oh, hi, Mr. Akiyama, you got a minute? I was hoping you could talk about Haruka, actually. Oh. Uh, to me? Don't tell Haruka, but I think there's been a stalker following her around. Did something happen? A couple nights ago, I walked her to her apartment late at night. I'm certain there was some sneaky shadow following us. Haruka didn't seem to notice, but after she went in, I came out. The same guy was still there, watching from a distance. And then? I was scared, but I went towards him to get a look at his face. He took off running. He must have been spying on Haruka, though. <sighs> okay, got it. Has anything like this happened before? There's plenty of wacky people with all sorts of crazy ideas of Haruka's fan letters or anything to go by. There's no end to them. But this time the stalker knows where Haruka lives. That's really worrying. Our agency has neither the staff nor the money to keep watch over Haruka all the time. But it's not anything we can leave festering. So I was hoping to ask a favor of you. Can you go and look around Haruka's apartment building every so often? Just when you have the time. If you spot anyone acting sneaky, I'll... I would l I'd like to give them a stern talking to. Sure, but he m might be a bit optimistic if you think a good talking will scare them off. But it's worth a try, and it's something I might be good at. I'm counting on you, Mr. Akiyama. Oh, great. She's got another stalker going after her. Well, at least she doesn't know about this one. But it's marked on the map, so we might as well take a look right now, because... Eh, you know, it's stuff to do. All right, is there any? Uh, excuse me, sir. Wow, seriously, how much more obvious can a stalker be? Excuse me, pal. Can you tell me what you're up to over here? Uh, 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 who are you? I'm with Dinochair. Does that ring a bell? Oh, you're from Harker's agency. Yep. So, let me ask you again. What are you up to hanging around here? Yeah. Uh, well, you see, uh, uh, nothing. Bye! Hey! Stop! Well, this guy is up to another chase battle. God, we're getting as many of these as there are, like, concerts in Haruka's storyline. Eh, that's not true. There weren't as many as that. Not that I'm complaining, because they were fun, but... It did get a little bit tiresome, ti um, tiresome? That's not a word. Tiresome having to do the same song over and over again. Especially since the second song was so much better in my opinion. But that's just an opinion. I also love how every enemy does the exact same plan, so I've pretty much timed that to a T. Like, at this point, Akiyama can just pretty much predict when he's going to, like, do a overhead kick. And I know my kicks, man, so... It doesn't really work. Alright, caught ya. I spill your guts. Not literally, just tell me what you want. Alright, I'll ask you nicely. Quit stalking around after Haruka. Stalking is a natural crime, you know that, don't you? You, you? you got it all wrong. I'm no stalker. I was just trying to keep Haruka safe. That's what stalkers stay. I swear I'm not lying. Haruka really is being hounded by a stalker. No admission of guilt, nor any sign of remorse. Okay, you had your chance. Do we need to get the police involved? I'm not lying, I'm telling you! There he is! It's him! He's the real stalker! I see him wandering around Haruka's apartment all the time! Are you kidding me? See? There he goes! He's the stalker, I'm telling you! What? what? Oh, damn it! Not another chase! Wow, even Nakiyama is realizing that there are so many chases. Alright, second man. Obviously you didn't learn from the first encounter, even though that first encounter didn't involve you, but whatever. Details, details. Get back here. 
And I can't believe it actually raised my weapon skill. Come on, Jersey man. Just give up. I swear to God, if you tried the same tactic that businessman tried with his overhead kick, then it's not going to work. I'm just going to give you a word of advice right now. Because I'm a nice guy. And that's how I roll. But seriously, could you slow down? Because I need to hit you. Okay, well props to him. He didn't use the same tactic. He actually used his elbow instead of his feet. And there we go. All right, come on. I don't like this any more than you. So how about we just calm down, just slow down as well, and... Damn it, that would have been so cool if that actually worked. Oh, come on, I, will had, I had a cool speech and everything. It's really hard to commentate over chase battles, especially one after the other. Uh, oh, come on, man. Sorry, sir. I'm sorry, ma'am. Jeez, come on. Come on, you're so close. Come on! BAM! Alright! Oh man, what did I do to earn all this running? So are you the real stalker? The s stalker You got it wrong! I was trying to protect Haruka! Oh no, not you too. Uh, fine, we'll let the police sort this out. Wait, wait, wait! I really ain't your stalker! Over there! There he is! Don't try to pretend you're not, you goof! I've seen you a bunch of times around Haruka's apartment. Ah, you take that bad! I ain't no creepy stalker! I'll have you know I've been keeping Haruka safe! Hey, dial it down. What's going on here? Hell if I know! Why do you day off calling me a creepy stalker? I'm gonna keep Haruka safe from the likes of you! I'm cracking all your skulls together! Why do you all know where she lives? Even if you're not stalkers, that's still really concerning! Oh, whatever, let's get this over quickly. So what was this all about? Gentlemen, would you care to explain, please? Um, I'm not a stalker. I admit I found Haruka's apartment and I hung around hoping I could maybe see her. But then I noticed there was a creepy guy hanging around, so I had to protect her. It was this guy in the tracksuit. Wait, that's the same as me. I saw this gangster sniffing around after Haruka. Uh, she needed protecting from him. I saw that creep in the suit acting all kinds of suspicious. I took on myself to keep Haruka safe from him. <sighs> hold it, hold it. I've heard enough. Basically, all three of you were whistling the same tune. You tried to keep Haruka from the stalking, you got mistaken for one. <sighs> what a mixed up bunch of white knights. How silly can this be? Well, it's a good thing it wasn't serious. These times seem to be hard harmless enough. Just some fans who took things a little too far. Sure caused enough worry, though. Stay away from Haruka's place from now on. If I see you again, the cops will be called. It won't happen again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for causing you trouble. Phew. Thanks for clearing this up, Mr. Akiyama. Have to thank you, don't I? How about this? <laughs> A Royal Jaw Car card. That's actually pretty cool. Mail from the investigator? What's this about? The name Akihiko Yamori was added to the blacklist by Kanzai Credit rank Ratings Board. The past few days, it looks like he went to see a m number of moneylenders in Osaka, but he turned away by all. Akihiko Yamori. So it's finally happening. Brooding won't help. All I can do is wait by the off away at the office. That name sounds familiar. Hmm. Looks like I'll meet you guys back at Aki, um, Akihiko's office? Akiyama's office. God, I'm getting a lot of names mixed up. Akihiko Yamori. He'll come here eventually. And when he does, it'll get complicated. Maybe I should deal with things first. Um... 
Oh my, oh, wait, I, what, uh, um, Akito, you freak me out with this option. I'm ready? Excuse me, I would like to apply for a loan. Excuse me. You. Are you Akiyama? It's an honor you remember the name of the guy who you once fired, Yumori. Why are you here? Well, this is my office. After I got fired from Toto Bank, and through this and before this and that before Steinstein Finance. You're seeking a loan? Please, take a seat. This is gonna get super awkward. You're not surprised I showed up out of the blue? I know that you were blacklisted by the credit ratings board and that other money lenders are turning you away. People in your situation eventually end up at the lender that makes no term unsecured loans, and that would be me. I see. So you knew I would show up here. I also knew you've been working as a financial consultant in Kansai for the past two years. It's too bad your business is struggling. You're facing bankruptcy already? You were investigating me this whole time. I get it. You were waiting for a chance to take revenge on me for firing you. <laughs> too bad for you. Without any help from you, I'm on the verge of bankruptcy. So much for your revenge. <laughs> Yamori, it's true that I've been keeping an eye on you for, for the past few years. But it wasn't to get revenge. Then why? I was sorry to repay my debt to you. Uh, what? Repay your debt? It's true that I once lost everything thanks to you. But it was also an opportunity to start all over again. I'm who I am today because I got fired that day. Yamori, could we just put this behind us, water under the bridge, as it were? If you want to rebuild your business, I can help. Huh? Don't make me laugh! Water under the bridge. Even I know that what you, you went through after you got canned. How you, you uppity suave intellectual, turned homeless. You went scrabbling in the alleys for food scraps, I know all about that. I drew you into the investment club when we were in university. I got you into Toto Bank. I know everything there is to know about you. Including the woman I was seeing? That's right. If it weren't for you, what you taught me, I couldn't have started this lending business. I really am grateful. Yeah. But I sold you out to the law. I cast aside my conscience and feelings for the sake of my career. And you're saying you can let it go as water under the bridge? What kind of fool do you take me for? And what kind of fool do you take me for? What? I'm a professional. My job is to lend money to clients. Nothing more, nothing nothing less. <laughs> Cast aside your feelings? Don't make me laugh. You're the one furiously digging up the past. Heh. <laughs> You're right. I broke laws to get ahead and got you fired. But as a result of what I did, I ended up getting kicked out too. Maybe I blamed you for the whole thing instead of facing reality. That was... What? Seven years ago? The politician Jingo was involved in money laundering with the Tojo clan. Toto Bank was in their scam too. It was the department where we handled the account. I didn't have a clue then. I didn't imagine for a second that I was aiding a bed in crooks. I was the account manager. No one under me knew. You were used as a convenient scapegoat and thrown to the wolves. Yeah. I was falsely accused of embezzling, saddled with the whole host of charges, fired, and ended up in the streets homeless. Even after Jingu's money laundering came to the light, the bank pinned the blame entirely on me and denied all culp culpability. Until two years ago when Deputy Commissioner Munakada of the Metropolitan Police was arrested for being involved in a scam. Jesus Christ, we're going through like two different Yakuza plots right now, in a matter of a few sentences. That brought the whole case back into the open, but this time the truth got out and the bank's president got arrested. The authorities grilled me too, but because of all the internal documents that were destroyed after your firing, they didn't have enough to charge me. 
Now, of course, the accusations were alone to enough to an uh, that. The accusations alone were enough to end my career at the bank. So you left for cancer and started your own financial consulting firm, and that brings us to this date. Unfortunately, I didn't have what it takes to run my own business, unlike you. But you haven't given up, otherwise you wouldn't be coming into a place like this for a loan. That's right. Good! Now we can finally get back to the first part of the conversation. Do you or don't you want to borrow money from me? Let's start there. No, I won't. I don't have much left, but I still have my pride. I see. Sorry to waste your time. What are you going to do now? There's no one else in town that would loan you anything. Who knows? Maybe I'll rob a bank. Heh. <laughs> As if. Human beings will try to live however dire their situation. Like you did when you were on the streets. I expected it, but he turned down my offer. But no one else will make him alone. I doubt he would really turn to bank robbery, but maybe I should keep an eye on him. So that was the guy that fired me all the way back in the Yakuza 4. And even before then. Damn it, Akiyama. We were really digging up a load of skeletons in the closet, aren't we? Hey there, buddy. How's it going? There's your Mori. What's he holding? A knife? Was he serious about committing a robbery? I have to stop him before things get crazy. Oh, God damn it! Jesus, man, what's going on to you? What the fuck do you think you're doing? Huh? Shut up. It's your fault for not loaning me money. Mm. Mother. Yamori! Uh, Akiyama. This is crazy. You have to stop this. Stay out of this. There's no other way. Now take this knife and kill me. What? I have life insurance. When I die, my wife and kids won't have to go hungry. Everything will be squared away. Yamori. Are you out of your flipping mind? Huh? Come on, hurry! They won't pay out on suicide. Shut your yap! Yamori! Huh? 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 I seen your face around somewhere. That's it? You're the Tokyo guy moving in from a Sakura in, into a Sakura Sky Finance, ain't ya? I get the picture now. You're using this psycho to get the police involved so you can take over Sutton Bori. Whoa, how did you jump to that conclusion? You think you can pull this shit on our turf? You want to die so much, we'll happily kill ya. Okay, you're in no mood to listen. Huh? Come on, you two. Let's teach this greasy little shit what happens when he fucks with Osaka's loan sharks. Well, let's see what happens when you mess with me and... Uh, that speech was a lot cooler in my head. Whatever! I'll knock you out so you'll forget it. One down? Come on, buddy. Stand up. Two down? And uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, five, yep, da, 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 da. I'm not very good at Spanish. Well, where am I? Good, you're back out with us, you Mori. Akiyama. Let go of me. I can stand on my own. I want to accept your help. You'd rather die? That's right. Accept the help of a guy I sold out? I can't do that. My pride won't accept that. Heh. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty cheap pride, that. What? The way you put your convictions before your life is admirable. But right now, before worrying about your pride, isn't your family's future what need to what you need to protect? Do you think your wife will be happy to be saved by the money she gets from your death? I can't see Eri wanting that. Akiyama, you knew. Yeah. After I got fired, Eri dumped me. 
And then she started seeing you. She eventually married you and quit work. After I lost her, I really had nothing left to lose. It freed me to do anything. But, you have a family. It's much too early for you to be saying you'll be better off with, your, with you dead. What you should be doing is protecting your family's future, even if it means eating crow. Isn't that what real pride is about? Akiyama. You're welcome to betray me, but don't ever lose sight of what you really need to protect. <laughs> Heh, you're right. No, I was saying it for my family. It was for my family. I was really faint of only myself. Yamori. I'm gonna swallow my pride. Can you make me alone? <laughs> Most certainly. That's my business. That said, you may have heard some rumors, but you have to pass the test that I assigned. What do I have to do? <laughs> I was going to tell you to get a divorce. But after watching you lay your life on the line, I felt stupid for thinking up a test that clearly springs from envy. Wh what? So I'm going to offer you a loan on one condition. You turned me down before, but I'll ask you once more. Yamori, can you let bygones be got bygones? Or water under a bridge? That's what I w all I want. Akiyama, you... <clears throat> Thank you. I'm so sorry. <sighs> oh boy, I really am a softie, aren't I? Forgiving an act of betrayal. I don't want me having to hear about this. No sense in holding grudges. It's not the healthy way to live. And I just realized that I have nine ability points, which I didn't, uh, that I completely forgot I had. So, you know what? Let's use them right now. So. Let's boost the heat increase. Let's boost the health. Uh, let's get the combo speed boost because that's always been super helpful. And... Let's get the essence of comebacks. Deliver a powerful strike into an airborne enemy then slam them down. Huh, interesting. But, with that, that's pretty much every sub-story done, but not everything done in the case of Akiyama, because, as you see right there, we've got an IF-8 now available to us, and we also have Psycho's training, so, you know what we're doing for the rest of this episode. Meet you guys in a second. Why, hello there, good sir. I'm staring you down, but I want to be a tester. Excuse me. Hmm? I'm kind of in a hurry here. I promise it won't take too long. We're looking for someone to play a test in our newly developed game machine. We'd really like for you to give it a try. Ah, uh, pass. This doesn't pass the sniff test. You've got the wrong idea. There's nothing fishy about it. It's called Inner Fighter. It's an arcade machine developed by the brilliant scientist Dr. Minamida. We're working on the latest version right now. I'm Dr. Minamida's assistant. Dr. Minamida? I think I've heard that name before. He's the one who has the massive game machine down under Kamurocha, right? Exactly! That's Inner Fighter! And here is the latest Inner Fighter! We call it Inner Fighter 8 Road Battle, or IF-8 for short. Heh <laughs> heh, IF-8 is a marvel of arcade machine technology, and it's the brainchild of brilliant Dr. Minamiya. However, IF-8 is not yet complete. We need people to actually play it, so we can get the data we need to complete it. How about taking IF-8 for a spin? Sure, why not? Okay, now select the stage you want to play. Sultan Bori? Pay him his 10,000 yen? Let's go. Very helpful if I had the machine on hand. Alright, Akiyama. I'm really tempted to see what your boss is. I have a few inklings of what it could be, but, you know. It could be very surprising. Anyway, uh, can you stand up? There we go. Let's take out all of these Jurals. And try to jump over. There we go. Thankfully, his kick ranges are actually really huge, which means that I can get across the screen very quickly. 
but it doesn't help with all of these zone guys. All right, jump back. Let them get, let them get on the screen so I can actually hit them. There we go. Nope. I don't want any of your zoning BS. Jump over the brains you can't see. There we go. They don't actually do that much damage, so it's net, uh, negligible at best, but it can interrupt combos, and it's just really annoying, so I want to take them out whenever I can. Anyway, let's go. Just dash forward. Dash forward like, I don't know, the Alucard, even though he dashes backwards. But whatever. Details, details. We haven't look oh, of course it's him. He's also dropped that weird stance to boot. Alright, Ogita. I seem to be really overleveled for this thing, but whatever. That's how I get through all of my RPGs. Well, actually not all of them, but most of them. Okay. Then you get back on the stage. Completely forgot that you could actually grab. But that really kicks them very far, and that's not that great, so. Come on. There we go. Kick, 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 kick. Easy. Congrats on winning that one! I see you've earned an ability boost. That will provide us with some valuable data. Please come again. I'll be waiting. Heh <laughs> heh. God damn it, can you not do the creepy laugh at the end? Like, seriously, it makes you feel like that you did something to my brain. Anyway, we got our heat gauge boosted, which is super dope. Which means that we are fully prepped. At least I think we are. How's my health looking? Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, I'm just gonna say we're fully prepped. We're fully prepped to do Saido's training. Alright, Saido, what have you got for us this time? Just the man I wanted to see, ready for some training. Let's do it. Yes, please. Okay, pick your poison. So, we've done true suicidal combat, suicidal, oh, sorry, suicidal combat, suicidal running, and suicidal shooting. I did that in the wrong order. Whatever, details, details. Now it's time for true suicidal running. Okay, let's move this elsewhere. All right, true suicidal running it is. This is this one resembles the previous suicidal running exercise in which in which you'll chase me through the streets of Sotombori. Catch me and you pass. The only difference is I won't hold back this time. You will hold him back. So what? He'll be running faster this time. No, I'll lob grenades at you while you chase me. You'll lob what? What at me? You know, grenades. Hand grenades. I know you civvies aren't too familiar with both mercenaries' tools of trades. No, I know exactly what a grenade is, it's just, I was wondering... We're still in Japan, right? Don't be a smartass. Besides, a battlefield is wherever you make it. Like before, my students will direct traffic, but they'll also be lobbing grenades at you too, so watch out. They'll be coming from all directions, huh? You are one devious bastard. Hats off to you. Respect for your superior officer is a given, but flattery won't get you promoted. I'm more than happy to remain a private. Are you ready? I guess more than I'll ever be. Alright, then begin! Jesus Christ, I hope these grenades don't have too much damage or too much hitbox. That was a sentence, right? Whatever! Well, this is pretty much as ready as I will ever be, so... Oh, jeez! Okay, they can trip me up. Good to know. Jesus Christ, how many of those things are he, is he going to hold? And he has so much health! He may talk the talk a lot, but you know what? He has some of the stats to back it up. So I really can't judge him that much. Okay, grab this and... Oh god, okay, they are live. They are live grenades. Those are live grenades. I tried to throw that. It didn't work. Can I eat? Okay, no, I can't. Okay, eh, come on, Psycho. We actually took out a lot of his health already, which is good. No deal!
Oh, oh pretty. T turn me around. Why are the trash cans arranged this way? All right. Pick up a hammer, bottle, hammer. Yeah, there we go. Come on, Sandro. Oh my god, my health once again this is going to be pretty close. Down, pretty trash can. Great. Okay, hammer. Stop trying to throw. Stop, stop, just, ah. Okay, okay, this is not good. This is not good. This is not good. I should have healed up. I should have healed up. Why did I think this was going to be simple? Why did I think this is going to be simple? Oh my god! It's no good. Ah! Oh my god! No, 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 no! I'm so close. I'm so there we go! You and your stupid grenades! Mm. Okay, three times that wasn't that bad, but Jesus! Okay, you pass. Watching you reminds me of that one time. I learned how to step forward with my left leg while my right leg was still off the ground. That would mean you were floating in midair like a ninja. Wait, is that a ninja thing or not? So what did you learn this time? With all those grenades you made, made me dodge, I felt so light on my feet. The lightest ever. Launch Strike Plus. If you don't give your enemy an opportunity to counterattack, it's more effective than hardening your defenses. Remember that every time you go into battle. Yeah, yeah, I'll keep that in mind. But I was wondering. What, you have a question? If you have a question, raise your hand. Yeah, aren't you going to see your wife and daughter now that you're back in Japan? You said before that you can't go home, but why not? You can't stop fixating on matters that have nothing to do with your mission, can you? It's just, you used to talk about your daughter like she was everything to you. Talking about one's family is almost a taboo on the battlefield, but... I didn't return to the Middle East just to polish my skills. Wow, you're being unusually serious. Mercenaries like me end up learning things. Things that many would rather keep hidden. And beating mercenaries once a war is over, we're about as useful as a car without wheels. In short, we're expendable. But, we also have top secret information that stray stays with us as we return to our home countries. I can see how that could be a problem. As a mercenary field commander, I was no exception. I was privy to sub top secret info relating to the nation that hired me, and they didn't consider confidentially until the war is over. over. But then my former employer started to worry about damaging secrets getting out. Are you saying... Exactly. I didn't feel safe here, and decided to leave the country for a while. I see. You left because you don't want to get your family involved. I can't go into the details, as that would put you at risk too. And needless to say, let's keep this between you and me, understood? Relax, money lenders are quite discreet. It's part of doing business. I'll take your word on that. Now, enough of this idle chat. Dismissed. Yeah, well, how much are you going to pay for all of the damages you did to me, girl? You're making me use all of my stuff. Okay, good enough. On to the next training. Oh my god, suicidal shooting was bad before. I don't even want to imagine what it's like now. Okay, let's do this. Alright, true suicidal shooting it is. This time I and three of my students will try to shoot you. You'll pass if you defeat us all. I don't get a gun this time, so it's four armed opponents against me barehanded. What? Do you have a problem with that? Listen, those replica guns really hurt, and this time I'm the only one on the receiving end of said pain. You big baby, if you're scared of a little pain, what are you going to do when you're seriously wounded in battle? You do realize this is Japan and not some war-torn country, right? Stop fooling over yourself. Life itself is a battlefield. I should have figured you'd say that. I better quit while I'm ahead. Fine, let's do this. Are you ready? As I'll ever be. All right. Begin. I get no gun this time. Okay, I need to rush in. I just need to take his advice and just, just do it. Just rush in. Oh my god, they're all right next to each other. Oh my god! Okay, this is not good. 
This is not good. This is not fun. There goes all of my heat. There goes all of my health. Can I at least... Okay, take, take him down. No. No. No, freaking sight. Oh my god, this is the worst. This is actually the worst. Come on, if I can at least take down one of them. Come on. Oh my god. Okay, if I can at least take down all of the students before I have to freaking take down Psycho. And I can't use heat moves because of the freaking rules. There we go. Okay. It's only Psycho. No, 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 no. Okay. Do, do, do. Don't mind me. Just going to use my stamina. Okay. Come on. Let's see if we can knock that two pay off. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Not so tough without your head of hair. Aren't you? No, 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 no. I'm going to get all of these hits while I still can. Stupid freaking... There we go. Just don't let up the offense. Just keep on going. I don't know how my weapons improve, but whatever. I'll take it. Okay. Ah, no. Yeah! Air combo! So many air combos. Get some heat back. He doesn't have his toupee. He's weak. This wasn't as bad as the other suicidal shooting. Or regular shooting, even. Did it first try! Okay, you pass. Watching you reminds me of that one time. I stole the enemy's new mobile weaponized suit and won a battle up in the stratosphere. Sounds like a sci-fi movie, but if you have access to those sorts of weapons, why even bother with training? So what did you learn this time? When you're surrounded and enemies unloading on you, your only chance is to quickly exploit a gap in your enemy's defenses. Learn the counter kick! Even the most skilled enemies are vulnerable as they just begin an attack and never fail to make the most of it. Remember that every time you go into battle. Dismiss. N no, wait. What? Something wrong? I think we're being watched. You're probably just imagining things. What with all the cloak and dagger talk. No, I feel an ominous stare on me, like I have many times, right before a sniper opens fire. A sniper? What have you dragged me into? Quiet! Listen to me more carefully. When I give the signal, spring back and hide into the shadows. Three, two, one, now! Whoa, you weren't kidding. What the hell's going on here? We should be okay for now. Once a sniper loses the element of surprise, he usually backs off until the next time. I have to take your word on that. It didn't take them long to discover that I was back in Japan. You mean the people you were talking about? The ones who wanted to keep you quiet? That's the most likely scenario and the worst possible one too. If they figure out I know they're after me, they might go after my family and flush me out. Are we talking about a hostage situation here? This is bad. I can't warn my family either, because that could reveal their location. I'll have to put an end to this myself. I'm sorry, Akiyama. I didn't mean to drag you into all this. Truth be told, I never expected anything involving you to be to take such a serious turn. But this is no laughing matter. If there's anything I can do to help, let me know. I appreciate that. You be careful now, you hear? As for me, I'll avoid making any big moves for now. Better to assess your situation first. Well, dismissed. Damn it, Saigo. Just the man I wanted to see. Ready for some training? Is there anything new? Yep. The final true suicidal mission. True suicidal combat. Okay, let's get ready. Alright, true suicidal combat it is. 
In this exercise, we'll battle each other one on one. Defeat me and you'll pass. I won't be holding back this time. Naturally, I'll be using a machine gun again. I don't see anything natural about it, but I guess there's no point in complaining. And my students will back me up by lobbing grenades at you from the outside combats. Oh my god, not the grenades again. Nothing you could say phases me anymore. Besides, you're just as likely to blo be blown to bits as me. Think again, Nakiyama. I'll be wearing the latest cutting-edge ballistic armor. I can keep on fighting without worrying about grenade explosions. Whoa, n no fair. Relax. The gunfire and explosions are only for training purposes. They may leave a mark and hurt like hell, but they won't kill you. You're always so reassuring in your own special way. But whatever, I'm used to it now. Are you ready? As I'll ever be! This is becoming a new catchphrase for me. Alright, begin! Oh my god. I hope he doesn't have too big a life bar. Because we need to make this quick. Alright, Psycho! Let's get this done quickly, because the grenades are going to be really annoying. Okay, yeah, those are grenades. Those are definitely grenades. Thankfully, they're not that accurate. Come on, break his guard. Get break his guard. I broke his guard for literally one kick. But we know that we can launch him, so... I should focus on that. Oh god, that's a grenade! At least I can see them on the ground! Oh, come on! That's not fair. Okay, dodge around him. Dodge around- Oh my god, freaking grenades everywhere! Okay, at least if I make him guard, he can't attack- Okay, never mind, he can counter-attack. Why did I think that would work? Come on! Come on, Akiyama! We can do this. We've been through worse. Get that stupid hair off your body. Oh my god. So many grenades. So many grenades. Okay. At least I can use items. At least I have that much. Um, toughness deep. It's not a lot, but it's something. Kick, 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 kick. One, two, three! Come on, if I can launch him. Oh god, that's machine gun fire. Come on, Psycho! You have got to, I'm, I'm sorry if you can get a lot of button presses, but this is really frustrating! And by frustrating, that was not the right word. Stressful. That's the word I was looking for, not frustrating. Okay, you pass. Watching you reminds me of that one time. I returned home, despondent after my war body died in action, only to learn it was a prank. That's a terrible prank. I mean, you were soldiers, not frat boys. So what did you learn this time? Even when things get chaotic, I need to keep looking in for him for a chance to land a big blow. You learned the final drive climax heat? That sounds super hype. You don't get many chances to quickly finish off your enemy. Whether you can spot these chances will decide the tide of battle. Remember that every time you go into battle. Roger that. By the way, what happened after that sniper incident? I haven't learned anything more since then, and they don't seem to be watching me anymore. Hmm? Who are you? I must commend you, Daijo Saigo. Few have ever been in my sights and lived to tell of it. You're the sniper who shot at him? Shunakiyama, only of Sky owner of Sky Finance, I presume. You've obviously done your homework. I don't know how much Saigo has told you, but everyone who knows what he knows will be eliminated. Whoa, whoa, let's take this down a notch. That wouldn't be a toy gun, would it? Enough! Akiyama doesn't know a thing! Even if he doesn't, now that he knows about me, I can't let him live. Just calm down and lower your weapon, okay? We did talk this over like civilized people. Besides, how could I possibly benefit from telling anyone about you? You're just wasting your breath. Once we have a target, we never fail to take it out. Not a single one has ever escaped. Enough talk. Rest in peace. 
S Saigo! Why'd you do that? Run, Akiyama. You must live. This can't be happening. It's all a bad dream, right? Tell my family. Tell them I put up a good fight till the bitter end. Saigo! Come on, Saigo! Come on, this isn't funny! You were supposed to go first, but no matter, you're next. You can join Saigo in hell. Shut up. What? You won't get away with this. I'm not about to give up so easily. Not after Saigo gave his life for me. Well now, do you think you have a chance against me? He may have had a military fetish and was always sane and doing strange things, but... Saito was a good man. He was working hard to teach young people how about risk management. And most of all, he treasured his family. What's that got to do with me? I could say the same thing. What does any of this have to do with me? I'm not letting you kill me. You're going to pay for what you did to Saigo. And cut. That's right. I'm going to cut loose on this bastard. Oh, wait. C cut? What do you mean, cut? That was a great scene. You get all of that? That was an award-winning performance, Master. It always moved me to tears. Well, all right then. That's a wrap. We'll celebrate with some drinks tonight. Um, excuse me? Would someone explain what's going on here? You gave an amazing performance too, Akiyama. I'm talking best supporting actor level. I still don't get it. Okay, listen up, Psycho. Listen carefully. I have absolutely no idea what's going on here. None. Whatsoever. I just saw you get shot to death, but you look perfectly fine now. Of course I am. That was a replica gun. And the sniper? One of my students. And the guy who shouted, cut. Another one of my students. A member of my film crew, to be exact. What film crew? Great question. They're helping me create promotional videos for my organization. It's part of a series I'm calling Daijiro Saigo's Life on the Battlefield. Are you telling me this was all fake? Part of some bad action movie? Fake? Do you have a problem with the script I wrote, Akiyama? I went through a lot of trouble to do this. I mean, I even got this hairpiece. What? That's why you were wearing a hairpiece? Wait, so how long were you filming? I'm not sure that was real anymore. The video starts with my student rushing to help me as I collapse. My last ounce of, br ounce of breast en energy spent on the battlefield. All the way back that far? You only collapsed because you were hungry? A few edits and that scene will really shine. Right. How is the editing coming along on the climax scene we just saw? Shot. We have a rough cut ready. Akiyama's line is a killer too. Here. Saito was a good man. He was working hard to teach young people about risk management. Wait a second. You cut the part where I called him a strange guy with a military fetish. That was epic, Akiyama. You delivered that line like you are on some big budget TV show. No, oh, whatever. I'm too tired to argue. Hey, don't be like that. I'll send you a copy once we're done. Gee, thanks. But I must say I was really moved by how angry you got when you saw me die. It's going to be tough living up to all that stuff you said. Tough for you? You know how embarrassed I feel right now? Listen to vi listen. This video is just a way to promote my work. My core mission is teaching young people about the importance of risk management. That's what I'm devoting my life to. I hope I'll live up to your expectations in that department. I'm impressed, Saigo. But you're not off the hook either. You too must devote yourself to training hard every day. And I'll be waiting here any time you need to brush up. Haha, <laughs> I should have figured my training doesn't end here. Still, you give good advice, Saigo. I'll take it to heart. Did you get that? Yep. You give good advice, Saigo. Oh, I give up. Well, I think with that, that's all of Saigo's training completed. And you know what else? With that, it's the end of the episode. So you know what? In the next episode of Yakuza 5, there's one sub-story that we need to do, but not with Akiyama. 
So we'll switch on over to Haraka and get that done. See you guys next time.